Hello, my quilting family. We had a viewer request, actually a few viewers requested that I show you how I make my pineapple blocks without a pineapple ruler. Um, this, uh, I do use a ruler, but it's not a pineapple one. There's specific rulers that you can buy for this. Now, it all started with this block for our Gills charity, right, that you saw a, bit, uh, a while ago, and it was called, I think the, the video was called Pineapple Party. So once you learn how to do the square version of this, the triangle is really simple, so would be the diamond, and so would be the hexagon. So we're going to show you all, all of those. And I'm going to try and show you um, using one and a half inch strips, two inch strips, and two and a half inch strips. So we should get started. Um, I'm just going to use four patches for my center, and we'll go will go from there. The most important part about this is the actual cutting and trimming of the first two rounds. And then after that it becomes a very simple task of just sewing and ironing and sewing and ironing. So and iron, sewing, ironing and trimming, sewing, ironing and trimming until you get something the right size. In this case it's going to have to measure 12 and a half unfinished for our charity. So I guess we should get started. So what we're going to do is, first off, we're going to start with our one and a half inch strips. Now you're going to need four of them. You're going to need four of them. So here's our four and a half inch center. And I have them because I'm making lots of them for the turn dash one, the turn dash case study that we're doing. So this is, was really handy. So what you want to do is you want to pick strips that are at least half an inch longer than you need. So it, you don't want them, because this is a four and a half by four and a half, you, you need something that's five inches or, or larger. So we're gonna go through and try and pick a few of those that are a little bit bigger. And we got a gray one, and let's put a blue one in. That's big enough. And oh, let's do some red, why not? So for that's where we're gonna put our one and our one and a half inch strips together. We're just gonna sew them along the edge, right? Where uh, half an, like a quarter of an inch hanging out on either side. And we're gonna do the same with uh, two inch strips and the two and a half inch strips. So I'll meet you back here once I sew all of those on here because it's really simple. You don't need to watch me sewing. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, we finished sewing on the the first round of our pineapple. Now I'm just gonna show you the back here on these. They're, you know, anywhere from a quarter to a half inch, you know, larger than they needed to be on all the two and a half, the two inch, and the one and a half, right? Just to, you know, it was the right size, so it didn't need too much trimming. So now we're gonna trim. Now, the most important thing you need to remember is that these lines are straight. Right, these, so the pineapple now is going to come from this 45 degree angle, right? So you're cutting out at 45 degree here along this line, and you can see a 45 degree here, but it's pretty uniform right across that black strip here. I don't know if you can see that, but it leaves you with a quarter inch right here. So you wanna make sure you have a quarter inch there on that point. So now we're just going to take our rotary cutter and trim this off like that. And we're going to continue trimming around the rest of the block. We're going to line up our 45 degree and our 45 degree here. And all the blocks, all of this round gets trimmed pretty much the same. And once you're past the first two rounds, it's, this block is really simple. So again, line it up. And where did it go? There it is. And 45. There we go. 
So there is your first trim pineapple. That's your first round. Now for the next round, we put low volume or neutrals around. And the rest of these other two, they get trimmed exactly the same way with watching your angles and everything else. Except they are smaller, so there's going to be more rounds to them before we get to our magical 12 and a half inch unfinished block. So but they do get trimmed the same way. Now, if you need to be frugal and save those, those bigger ones, you can. I don't because it's a lot. I must have a little nick in my blade or something, but then you have a perfect quarter inch there and perfect quarter inch there. So and you're doing this, you're gonna trim them every round, just pretty much like this. But the second round's a little different. But you'll see pretty quickly how that goes. Now you can see these edges are getting flat. They're a flat top where these are these ones here are more pointed. That's because you've got more material here to go out to the edge. Right? Okay, and again, last one. And a 45. There we go. Once you get going on these, they're pretty quick. They're uh, very quick little little ones to do. Oops, that's a little bit too. Okay, there we go. And they don't usually get too wonky, but they are meant. It's a great. These are great scrap busters. They just take your uh, scrap stash and just move it out. Anyway, so there we are. Now I'll go put the low volume or the neutrals on the edges. These edges here is where I'm going to be put sewing them on. And again, I want, you know, half inch to, you know, quarter inch on either side. It'll look great. Okay, see you back here. Okay, we're back after putting the low volume uh, neutral around the pineapple. So this is where, you know... You need to make your points, but you're also, this edge, when you're sewing it, is on a bias. So the, the rule is always put your bias on the bottom, but if you want to see your points, you have to actually flip it so that you can see where you're sewing. So when you're doing this, you have to hit that intersection. So you can either mark it with a pin or you can sew it upside down with the bias on top and the neutral fabric on the bottom. It's up to you. So now we're going to do these and all of these are the same situation. Now you'll see here where there's more gaps. This one here has the largest gaps and that's because there wasn't, it's only, you're only working with one and a half inch strip. So here, what we're going to do, we're going to trim this now so we can put our next row of color. And we're going to take our 45 degree line again. And we're going to make sure we have a good quarter inch right here. Right across there. And we're going to cut. The whole trick of this is, you know, just take your time, don't rush. Don't go, wow, you know, I've got things to do. No, this is, uh, I did a whole bunch of boxies uh, a couple of years back in pineapple with my two inch strips because they had gotten kind of too many. There was way too many and it was just unruly. You couldn't find anything when you went in there. So then I basically blew out all my little non with the fabric straps. And you can have fun putting different prints in with this as well. And here's my 45. There. Now, you're always going to sew the color on the one that has the two pieces, the two pieces edge. And then when you get to the, you know, once the color's there, right, you're always sewing across two seams, right? 
So this now is only going to be this long. And you want like a quarter inch on either side of that when you put your next strip on. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna cut this one first. This is the one and a half inch strip. Now we could continue with this, but once you're past a certain point and your ends don't meet, now you can use rules. In different rules like so a one half inch strip you want to leave you want to have your one inch line right where you've sewn that on and pressed it on the color strip and then you're going to trim off the excess and this will give you a little bridge I don't know where you can see this best but there's a little bridge of fabric in between and it will give you your guide as to how you're going to trim the rest of your blocks, right? So put it on the one inch for your one and a half inch strip. And it makes your trimming your trimming then becomes very quick because you're not you know you don't have to play around with a 45 degree line. You don't have to find a perfect quarter inch seam. The the two and a half inch ones, the next the next round you can pretty much do it do it this way. Right, so there's that. And now as well, we can go with the two inch strips. You're going to find the one and a half inch line here where you've sewn. And you're going to trim away this. And you're going to have a little bridge in between these two fabrics. So now this gets very quick. You know, like now these go very quick. And, you know, you're moving along. Basically, it's, you know, so press, trim, so press, trim until you're at 12 and a half inches. So I'm just going to put this out last one. Now once we're at the two and a half inch, like for the next one, you're going to trim it at, you're going to line it up along the sewn edge and then trim it two inches. So we're good. So I'm going to meet you back here when we're now at, the blocks are at 12 and a half inches or bigger okay so it's going to take me a while to do this so i'll be back bye so these blocks now are these pineapple blocks are big enough they're finally you know they're like 12 and a half across so we now have a choice of whether or not we're going to finish with color or uh, a pale neutral. So with these blocks, this particular block, I've chose a pale neutral and um, I'm just what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the block, match up that point here and just give it a little finger crease and then I have a little crease there and then I take a random triangle that I had in my scrap box and I give it a little crease and I pin those two together like that so I now have good coverage uh, to finish off my corner. But remember the one and a half you trim so that before this goes on you, you would put this from where you sewed, where you've already sewn it, and one inch to get that proper sizing. Basically what you're doing is you're squaring up your blocks everywhere as you go. With this one I decided I was going to use a color to finish off the blocks. And again, you just turn your block like this. Oh, I got something from behind. And you give it a little finger crease. And when you lay it out, you've got a little mark right there. And then you take your, I decided to go with yellow squares. And again, you just put your, match up your crease marks and you pin and now you would sew along this last line to finish your block and make it square. So I'm going to come, I'm going to finish pinning and sew these and then come back to show you how to square the block up. Okay, now we're going to square up, but just a quick reminder. What we did was we sewed with fabric hanging over this four patch, about quarter inch to half inch over on every side, and then trimmed, and then to 
to that perfect quarter inch right there. That's where we wanted that perfect quarter inch. Then as we put the next row on, we trimmed back to two inches for the two and a half inch strips uh, to one and a half inches for the two inch strips and one inch for the one and a half inch strips. And that way we get our perfect little corners, right? We get perfect trim corners so that we can work so on the next row. The next row essentially then to your, for the first one on the two and a half, you're looking to make sure you hit that point. And it looks, they look great when they're done. They're quick and fun and if you're doing them on bulk, you can go through them really quickly. So this is the, the one I did with the two and a half inch strips. And I decided to put the color towards the outside edge. Uh, the other ones I put the, the neutrals or the low volume to the outside edge. And that's going to be your choice on when you're making your quilt and your pineapple block. Where do you stop? And once the block is a certain size, you're going to make a decision to stop and then put your corners in. So this is what we did. Now I'm going to square up this. Now where we start is that the center here, right? And we want to make it a perfect 12 and a half inch. So I'm using washi tape to give me that perfect 12 and a half inch right where the center is. So right where the center of that square is, is where I have got my intersection for my six and a quarter. So it's going to tell me where I have to cut. Now I'm gonna try and line this up the best I can. And we should be pretty good. Okay. Ugh. And of course the mat's not big enough. That's okay. That's okay. okay. We can follow down and make it work. This is a pretty forgiving little block, by the way. So we just line up all that edge. Take this off. And then, of course, I've moved this, so I should probably try and... Twelve. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I've moved it. So let's line this up center up. And that center line is going to go right through that four patch. So now... There. And again... Okay. And there is your trimmed 12 and a half inch unfinished pineapple block. Now we're going to do the same thing with these, but one of the things I wanted to show you is that when you put the light to light, now I know these are different size strips, you're going to create like an illusion of color here. And you're going to have a secondary pattern come out from the, the light colors. If you were doing it all colors, you would have a secondary color, uh, a secondary pattern coming out as your lights would join up, light would join up against light, and you would have, um, and a different, uh, you would have this going in all four directions if you used all four blocks, putting all four, four of these together, right? So, and with this, everything here is on a bias. Now, I'm not going to stretch this, but it's you can ease in your points and you can ease in this matched, matching it easier, right? Because it will move, it'll stretch quite a bit because this is on a bias, right? So, that's what I've got for now. I'll just go trim up these and I'll be back. So we finally squared up our, our pineapple blocks and I think they look adorable. 
They, you can play with these. They use up lots of scraps and they're a great buster. If you've done, um, if you have like strips already pre-cut, like I have a lot of my stash cut into one and a half, two inch and two and a half inch strips. So I can go through and make these really quickly. And I really do like this half, the one and a half inch one. The two inch one is also big, bold, and lots of fun. You could get away with getting some bigger prints, like there's an elephant print here that is just cute, you know. So, and the two inch, I went through a few years ago and did a, a bunch of pineapple blocks and made a bunch of pineapple quilts. And they were just charming. Everybody who got one just loved it. So I hope you try this method. We're going to come back and, and try and get you the one where we use a uh, triangle for the center and, uh, you know, try to explain how we, we work with that. And then maybe a diamond and a hexagon would be good too. So I really enjoyed spending some time with you today and I'm so glad you came back. Thank you and have a great day. Bye. If you have questions about what you saw in this video or you have ideas for content or something you want to see us do, please put those comments in the description below. But also while you're there, like, share and subscribe with your friends. That would really help us out. Okay, I want to thank you and have a great day.